Alright guys, typically I don't do videos, but I got a story and some fitness lessons for you today. Uh, so I just got finished uh, my workout, I'm on my way home, but while I was in the gym, I was in the middle of a conflict. Um, all that happened was that, you know, I like to stay adaptable in the gym because you're so many times you go in there and there's people that are on the machines you want, they have the weight you want or whatever, so you just gotta kinda get over it and you gotta do something that you can do that will give you the same um, give you the same workout that you want but just in a different way. And so I go over to the Smith machine rack uh, because I was doing decline bench presses and I don't like to do too much weight without a spotter. If you, if you drop it on your face, that can be a big problem. So I went over there and I see that there's this bag that's next to the Smith machine and so I kind of watch it and you know see if anybody else shows up. I kind of wait. I kind of ask the people that are around and say, you know, is anybody else here? Is anybody using this machine? And everyone says, no, no, man, it's all good. So I get on it and I start using it. I'm there for about five minutes. So you can, you can tell that, you know, obviously whoever had their bag there kind of abandoned their bag. So I'm in the middle of the set, have 225 pounds over my face, and this guy comes up and, you know, you can tell that, that guys that are like this, because you know most people are not like this in the gym, but you can tell that guys like this don't have that big of a vocabulary, and they just start stringing together a bunch of profanities. And guys like this are unable to be adaptable. So that's lesson number one, be adaptable in the gym, or people are gonna think you're a jerk. And so this guy comes up, he starts stringing a bunch of profanities together and saying you know, how I need to have gym etiquette and how, um, I took his spot and so I, I said to him, I said, man, I looked for you and nobody else saw you around and so I used the machine. And so he says, man, you need to learn gym etiquette, another string of profanities. And he says, you need to go over there and use the other machine. So I said, oh, listen, man, I'm in the middle of a set. Uh, I'm almost done, but if you, if you got to get in here right now, there's an open machine like which you just pointed out, you could use it. And so the guy is like super ticked and he goes over to the other machine which I just suggested and everyone else around is like watching this like confused um, knowing that I had asked them knowing that I did try to be polite knowing that all these things have happened and so here's tip number two because I like to be adaptable and because I don't get in too many confrontations in the gym because I'm adaptable other people you know generally like you and so these people, they started, you know, all going up and, you know, confronting this guy and telling him how, how wrong he was and how he shouldn't be, you know, getting in people's business, especially when they're in the middle of a set and how he's the one that actually needs to learn gym etiquette, which was true. And so there, there's just a couple tips for you guys today, along with a story. You know, be adaptable. People like that. People don't like you to get in their way. Um, also, it, it saves on your own frustration. Also, make friends in the gym because you never know when some, you know, roid rage jerk is going to come around and they're going to, you know, try to get in your face. And, you know, if everyone else is on your side, you're in good shape. All right, see you later.